Wow. You know, it just seems like everybody wants to out Trump big time. They just want to out him every chance they can get. Now, there's a new book coming out saying that Donald Trump and Melania have been living separate lives for quite some time. And you know what? I believe it. I believe it. If you remember when he won the presidency, she did not come to Washington, D.C. right away. They, their claim was Barron had to finish school. Look, there were presidents before him that had small kids. <laughs> you know, remember, Sasha and Malia were not grown up during the time when they were in the White House. And, and nobody seems to have this issue except for her. And I don't know. I'm just, I'm just not feeling those two as a happy couple. I, I always got the sense, even back in New York, they weren't but so happy. So this came out June 24th, 2019. Donald and Melania Trump live separate lives and sleep apart, new book claims. An explosive book about Donald and Melania Trump has revealed surprising details about their marriage. Not really. Not really. I, I think most of us that are paying close attention, yeah, I don't think we thought they were having a, a close marriage because it just doesn't come off like that. Remember, Donald Trump comes from a reality show. He knows how to act in front of a camera. Michael Wolff, the author behind Fire and Fury inside the Trump White House, claimed the couple are living separate lives and are only staying together because of a special arrangement. Wow. A special arrangement, huh? which means Melania is going to bolt on his ass after the presidency is over. In his follow-up siege, Trump under fire, Wolf says Donald and Melania have separate bedrooms in the White House and notes that they are the first presidential couple since JFK and Jackie Kennedy to sleep apart. The first lady was not really in the White House. Yeah, I kind of, she doesn't even want to be first lady. I mean, let's be real. This woman is so not interested in being first lady. It's not even funny. You can tell. She is so not interested. It had taken Melania almost six months to officially relocate from New York to Washington. But that was in name only writes Wolf. Yeah, she, she did not want to leave New York. I, I think she, if she could escape from being first lady, this woman would. You can just get those vibes from her. She is so not interested. The first lady was not really in the White House. So it took her six months. Okay, let me go down a little bit. He claims Melania never wanted to step foot in the White House and is fine with leading a separate life from the Donald. And it seems the president isn't complaining either. Wolf describes their relationship as being similar to a Katie Holmes, Tom Cruise deal, as the Hollywood pair were rumored to have a relationship contract Steve Bannon, a former advisor and director of Trump's 2016 campaign, also told Wolf that he never saw any evidence of a marriage. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Woo. I'm not surprised. Okay. One thing I can honestly say, I got those vibes from her long before she went to Washington, I said, there is no way she is waiting on Barron to finish school. She does not want to be there. I knew it. But ladies and gentlemen, I think those of us that are watching closely, 
we knew something wasn't right about their relationship when you saw them together. And don't remember during the, uh, don't forget during the inauguration, he turned around and said something to her and her whole facial expression changed. <laughs> okay. I still remember that. And the videos are out there. I don't have to make anything up. All right, y'all, we're going to go ahead and listen to this video from 7news.com. Okay, it's just doing a lot of buffering. See if I can refresh it. Okay, it, it doesn't seem like it's going to play. It's definitely not me. <laughs> I'm not buffering at all. So Ladies and gentlemen, please tell me what you think. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.